Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. Welcome to a new video. Um, so, fresh from our trip to Florence, uh, we took a train to Rome. Um, had to quickly check into an Airbnb. Um, the weather wasn't great on this day, but it got better as the day went on. Uh, and then we went straight to the Colosseum. Where we were staying was, um, it was only like a five minute walk from here, which is pretty incredible. Um, so yeah, this is just an amazing place to go to. You don't really need a tour of this place, you can just uh, buy a ticket. Uh, and just go inside. Um, well, there's quite big lines and stuff, and you have like a slot, like a time slot of when you're supposed to enter. But yeah, this was really, really incredible. Um, just seeing the whole site and everything. So yeah, um, if you're around in Rome, I highly recommend this. Let um, me just saw this bird <laughs> um, walking past. Um, but yeah, you can get some quite good pictures uh, of the outside uh, and the different areas. Um, there's that bird again. Um, <laughs> he's like a recurring figure here. Um, and then you can see the lower bit as well, uh, where they would keep uh, the like animals and stuff, uh, and the people that would fight. It's just really incredible. I really like this picture as well. Um, yeah, it's just really, really nice. And there's like the arch bit. Um, so the, around this area, there's quite actually a lot to explore. Uh, and there's a few signs. That's a really nice picture as well. There's signs and stuff, um, which shows you where to go. I think this is the... Palantine Hill, if I remember correctly. Um, it's like some hill you can walk up, and you, you can get a ticket as well uh, to go up here. And you get a quite uh, nice view of Rome um, up here, just the different parts of it. Um, yeah, there's a nice garden up here actually, uh, with like roses and stuff. So then we went to um, this place just to get a slice, because um, when you're in Rome, you can get a pizza. Uh, so we, I prefer this style, the Roman style, like with the, with the crispy base. Um, and look how thin this is. <laughs> you can see how it curves. Um, how like this is just incredible. Everything about Rome's pizza is just really, really nice. Then we got a cannoli, um, which is like a um, ricotta, pistachio, crunchy thing, and then some ice cream and stuff, which was yeah, just really, really incredible. Um, but it's, that was near the Trivi Fountain, which is this place, um, which is another historical thing uh, to go around here. This is really, really incredible as well. Uh, you just see the marble work, uh, and then the tourists. There's quite a lot of tourists here. Um, we, it's difficult to get a picture, um, because there's so many people crowded around this area. Um, but that's quite a nice one, and then uh, luckily someone else actually took a picture of us as well. That, that's a really nice one, but yeah. Really, really crowded area, um, so uh, not too long to stay there. Um, yeah, I went to this restaurant, which is nearby. Again, you got to book these restaurants because uh, it's just impossible to eat anywhere here. Um, there's like a squid salad, um, which I liked. That was really nice. One thing that was, was interesting is a fried artichoke. Um, this is like um, a Jewish um, speciality, which is like... Uh, I didn't realize a lot of the food, the really older food, comes um, from the Jewish community. And there's a Jewish quarter um, where you can go there and have unique food. But th that dish was actually quite interesting. Um, it's like crispy on the outside and soft, which is nice. Um, that's a swordfish pasta. This was, um, I think it was oxtail. This wasn't great, um, but I just wanted something different. Then we had that second dessert. I'm not even going to try and pronounce what that is. Um, but... Yeah, this was really, really nice, um, and that's what it looks like. It just tasted like quite unique and different. Um, yeah, going back to the artichoke thing, um, yeah, I'd recommend trying. I actually ate that wrong. Like, I ate the petals first and then not the actual artichoke heart. <laughs> I only ate that afterwards because I didn't even know you could eat that. Um, but yeah, so that, that's what I ate. Um, then we dropped off our luggage, woke up early because we had to check out the Airbnb. There's these self-storage places which are really, really useful um, where you can drop off your luggage for like certain hours. This wasn't that expensive, like 15 euros or something. Um, if it is, I don't know. Um, but to, yeah, drop the luggage off while we were doing other stuff. So then we had some breakfast, uh, avocado, uh, egg and salmon, toast. Um, yeah, because we were really hungry at this point. I had some bacon, uh, which is the same thing. But yeah. Then we start our tour of the Vatican. Um, definitely come to this place early because the lines are ridiculous. We had the first slot. We were so lucky to even book that. Um, but yeah, um, we started our tour. There's around about 10 people we were with. Uh, and you have a guide and you put in like a little earpiece where you hear what they're saying and stuff. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a highlight of the whole um, Italy trip going to this place. As well as like um, Michelangelo's David, um, 
it's really really incredible this place um just the again the sculptures um the paintings the tapestry work um yeah just going to just seeing the architecture of this place um really really incredible and uh, th these places i think you you've it's really in your benefit to book it by a guide um for them to actually explain stuff because you you can go in these places and just think oh that looks incredible or oh, that, that's amazing but uh, until you understand the actual story behind this stuff i, I don't think you, you'll really appreciate um well, I did anyway, um, so, uh, certain things. Um, yeah, that, that's the key to this stuff. Because otherwise, these are just marble sculptures um, and like paintings and stuff. Uh, I think the background and the purpose of it... Oh, this is a sculpture of comedy, um, a Greek sculpture. And then there is a one of tragedy. I thought it was quite interesting they were next to each other. <laughs> but um, there's this really cool hallway as well. It, it has like... Um, old maps of Italy, like really, really old maps, and the ceiling's just incredible in this room. Um, and you can see how they, like, a lot of these maps are actually accurate even to today. But th this is like hundreds of years ago that they actually plotted uh, the different things, and it's just, you see like every city uh, put on a map like this. It's it really, really incredible. Um, yeah, we were lucky to get some of these shots as well. Um, just the ceiling work and the detail and everything. It was actually quite interesting. There was like a pet um, or like an animal sculpture version, which I thought was really nice as well. Because, um, yeah, animals always are nice <laughs> to take pictures of. Um, loads of memes and stuff. So, yeah, I thought they were, yeah, it was nice to have an animal section of this stuff rather than like naked uh, men and women, which is the, <laughs> the majority of the um, stuff you see. But, but again, just the, the level of detail. Um, in these sculptures is just really really incredible um so yeah and i didn't realize vatican's like a an independent like state outside of italy um i probably should have known that but yeah that was interesting um and there you, you just see the, the level of detail in these paintings and these are all just basically storytelling um and it's just it's really really incredible to look at this was the tapestry work um which i thought was amazing i don't even know always more difficult um uh, but yeah that's someone to, for, uh, to consider but yeah i thought these were really really incredible and detailed um and i think there's some um, something coming up which shows like the you know the whole mona lisa thing of like the eyes following um there's one of jesus here um if you just follow the eyes of this tapestry it has this same sort of effect which i thought was really incredible uh, where, the, where the eyes are following um, but um, yeah that's an incredible picture but I think the highlight of this whole thing and there's no video of this old picture because you're not allowed to record in there was the Sistine Chapel um, Michelangelo so that was really really incredible um, uh, like it's kind of mind-blowing but once you understand the story of how that was created and when you look at the different parts uh, really 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 incredible uh, that's a really moving moment, I thought. Um, and then you get quite a nice shot once you leave this place. If you look up, there's a, a really nice like, spiral staircase. But yeah, we went to Jolly Bee in Rome. Uh, we can't take the Filipino away from May, um, food away from May, um, so we've got to go back there. So that was really that was interesting going to that place. And then I just thought, okay, let's get some Italian food because we can't just eat Jolly Bee. So went to this place nearby. I got something really simple, just like um, pecorino cheese and um, pasta. I just wanted something simple, just to because sometimes you're like, oh, let me have something extravagant. But I just wanted something bare bones, just cheese and pasta. And it, this was just incredible. It was really really nice, and it was a very simple dish. And then we had some, we had some veal steaks. So soft uh, and tasty. It's uh, yeah, really nice. <laughs> and, uh, I just wanted to show you the public sink. Like you can just step on these thing pedals on the floor to activate the water. Um, so you don't need to touch anything. So uh, I don't know why this isn't implemented in other countries because it's a bit nasty just touching taps and stuff uh, with your hands. It's just so much better to just press a pedal. Um, um, then we went to like St. Peter's Cathedral. Um, and where the Pope delivers his messages <laughs> in this window. So, yeah, that's the Pope's window. If anyone wanted to know <laughs> that. 
But yeah, because we were really in a rush at this point, but we need to get back to a taxi, so unfortunately we didn't go into the cathedral. Um, but yeah, we were just like walking around and doing stuff. We got some nice pictures here as well, but um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this series. Um, really, really great place. I, I pretty much only go back to Italy to meet my friend, <laughs> which is why um, I'll be going more here uh, again, definitely in the future. Maybe in the south when I go to Sicily, but I also want to thank May for putting up with me and creating this um, ridiculous holiday of five cities uh, in five days. So, yeah. But she enjoyed herself <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> See you in the next one. Bye.